Welcome back. Coming up this week, we journey to the only place on Earth where two natural World Heritage Sites meet, the awe-inspiring Daintree Rainforest, where we hike through the rainforest to a hidden oasis of stunning blue water surrounded by dense jungle. Then, we get introduced to the weird and wonderful world of tropical fruits. And what better way to experience them than in ice cream form? Hi, I'm Duncan and this is Sophie. And this year we've challenged ourselves to do, see and live more. What better way to do that than start off by exploring our own backyard, the sunburnt country of Australia. This started off as a trip of a lifetime but has quickly become a way of life. If you want to follow the highs and lows of our adventure, subscribe and we'll see you on the road. And the road trip continues. We are back on the road and this time we are heading to Cape Trip. So we're heading out to Cape Trip. We're going to cross the Daintree Ferry, we're going to spend about four nights there and then we're going to come back over to this side to start some more of our 10Q journey and then finally head over to the NT. This week we're camping where the rainforest meets the reef at the tropical Safari Lodge. Each site is hidden by dense jungle canopies which gives this place a seriously cool vibe. Even taking to the skies, you'd be hard pressed to find this place in the sea of green. And if you ask me, this is what all camping slash van sites should be like. Honestly guys, touring camp is like being on the set of Jurassic Park, with rainforest epiphytes and ferns growing out of everything. Not Jurassic Parky enough for you? There's even an abandoned jeep that is slowly being rusted away as the jungle grows up around it. Come on. Today we thought we'd get out and try and find a place that isn't really on any of the tourist maps, but a friend has recommended it to us and give us vague directions to where it is. It's called the Blue Hole. So I take it from that that it's a, a swimming hole, crystal clear water and pretty special. And they certainly rated it. So we don't really know if we're going to find it, but we're going to give it a red hot crack and see if we uh, can't find something a little less touristy. One thing worth noting about the Daintree area and Cape Trib is lack of phone signal. As soon as you cross the river, you add a signal. So make a note of everywhere you want to go and pick up one of these. We're just following a map to get places. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't think it needs to be that difficult. And it's pretty much one road that goes all the way up and then it's just got side roads. So it's really not that difficult. <laughs> so if I lift this up, mm -hmm. can you put this in underneath? Yeah. So that should go up with it. What are you doing? <laughs> When we were on Fraser, I, um, well, these kayaks were bouncing around on top of the car and our front runner roof rack actually slid all the way forward and scuffed up a bunch of the roof rails. So I thought I could reattach it and tighten it all up again and it might be okay, but I'm kind of noticing that there must be a problem with it because I can hear it squeaking and then it's sort of cutting back into the roof rails again as it sort of slowly grides forward again and i mean these pieces that are attach on don't really look like they're they're holding particularly well so i think i'm going to put a little bit of uh, foam underneath it in between the two and then reattach it and then hopefully at least it stops doing as much damage as it is to the roof rails but not ideal 
front runner have been pretty good to date in uh, getting back to us when we've had issues with the, the tray rack. So yeah, the customer service will be good. So send them another email and hopefully get it resolved, but I can't see how they're gonna fix it. But If anyone has experienced this issue with a front runner roof rack on uh, rails, it'd be good to understand it because I did think when I first put these on that the way it connects to the rails, it doesn't look like it's necessarily made, like the clips don't look like they're necessarily made to fit round the rails in the right way. Like they sit on and they're, they tightened, but you would think that they would be a lot more shaped to the profile of the roof rails. So if, yeah, if anyone's had this issue or knows how to fix it or can offer any advice, let me know, because this is very annoying. The main reason I was fixing it now is A, the movement, and B, the squeaking and the noise. So hopefully that's gone. Get back on the road, because nothing reminds you of a problem more than the squeaking consistently just above the driver's side door that something's not right. So, hey, if it gets rid of the squeaking for now, that's good, and then we'll get it fixed later. Just another thing to add to the old on the road fix list. Well, I've only put that padding under one of them and I can still hear it. I wonder if it's one of the back ones. Anyway, I think it's just a squeak we're gonna have to live with or I go through and pad all four of them and maybe that fixes it. Probably not though. All right, just pulled over. I think we found the spot. My friend had said, you drive 850 meters down the road, you'll come to a driveway which may or may not have a gate closed. We've come to a driveway that does have a gate and she said it was just before the Heritage Lodge Spa and that's just up there. So I reckon let's go check it out and see if that leads to the, the famous blue hole or not so famous blue hole. down the path and then we see a couple walking towards us in swimsuits and uh, with, like, wet hair. with wet hair and towels around them so uh, they confirmed to us that this is where the uh, blue hole or they didn't know it was called the blue hole but where there's a great swimming hole so hey onto the right track they kind of gave us a couple of tips that if we keep following this along we should hit a river and then it's kind of left the that and then down a little way and yeah. You're a stone's throw away, so. This is you can't miss it, so hopefully you won't. Famous last words. <laughs> so when you say you can't miss it, we'll definitely miss it. We've made it to the river, or the creek. What was it they said? Where, where do we need to go? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Uh, I thought they said when you hit a river, go right, but that's kind of back up that way. But to be honest, I kind of listened and then oh. just, they made it sound so easy, I thought oh. we'd just find it. So yeah. I don't have to hit the river, let's head up there. He loves a good tree, palm trees. Burn trees, redwoods, anything with leaves. <laughs> Caught red handed again. <laughs> what, you're gonna love it when you get all these lovely shots of trees to go in between you walking around looking for a waterfall? Very true. Ready for a swim? Yeah. The water's so clear. 
and there's so many fish in there. That swimming hole was next level, wasn't it? The water was so blue. Pretty good, pretty good. Feeling very refreshed now. I'm loving all these freshwater swimming holes. Yeah. That's, that, that's not bad for the first, first stop. And I even saw, and I didn't manage to get on camera because it's scarped, even managed to see a little turtle. And there's some fish in the water. Scarped. Scarped. Ran away. Scuppered. Mm. Scuppered? No, that's scuppered? when you sink a ship. <laughs> oh no, scuttled. Scuttled is when you sink a ship. Scuttled? Scarpered, run away, yeah. It's pretty much what he did. <laughs> I saw a little turtle, it was so, it was tiny. And it bobbed his head up and then it just dove straight to the bottom. It's cute to see. How cool were the, um, I don't know if I managed to capture any, but the jungle perch. I think oh, that's yeah. what one of the ladies said it was. Jungle perch, so like freshwater perch. Yeah. Swimming in there. Just chilling, didn't care that we were there. There was a couple of small ones that kept nibbling at my feet and a little crab. Crab? Yeah, there's a little crab in there too. You sure it's not a, uh, uh, what are Yabby. they? Yabby? Yeah, nah. Crab? Yeah, there's a little crab in there. Do you got video proof of this? <laughs> no, I don't think it happened. <laughs> no, but I know what a crab looks like versus a yabby. Sure? Yeah. Well, they've both got pincers. True, well this one had a circular shell and feet coming out of either side. Well, not call them feet, but you know, claws. It's, <laughs> it's nice when the water's cool and refreshing, blue, clear, and you can see all the way down to the bottom. That's a real treat. Yeah. Oh man, I'm loving Daintree so far. Oh. That's beautiful. Fresh, clear water. Yeah. What more could you want? Towards the end there, there was actually quite a few people. So I don't know if it's as secret or as local mm. knowledge as, uh, as we thought it were because there was definitely a lot of a lot of backpackers a lot of tourists so it must be somewhere that yeah. they found yeah um, but now on to spot number two and seeing we're down this end of the rainforest we thought we'd go to cow bay which is one of the first spots where you can kind of see the beach hit the rainforest so no idea what to expect as usual i haven't done enough research so <laughs> done all the research so i'm just gonna be the the kid on a holiday who yeah experiences everything for the first time. Yeah. I, th I think I like it. The it's, child, it's childlike nice. innocence. Yeah, because when you first get somewhere, you haven't had any preconceived ideas of what it looks like on the internet with all like, the nice photos. So you, the first time you see something is the first time you're seeing it. Well, that's it. Like, that swimming hole, I had no idea what to expect. And yeah, it was amazing. Yeah. So keep not traveling and not knowing where you're going or not having a huge idea of what it looks like or hasn't haven't looked at all the Instagram photos. I thoroughly recommend because you're never going to be disappointed no. because when you get to these spots 
you just are amazed at how beautiful they are. Whereas if you've looked at it online and looked at everyone's perfectly manicured Insta photos, yeah. then you're going to be like, oh, it oh. doesn't quite look like that. Where's that fern that they hid behind when they took that photo? So I'm talking about the ferns. <laughs> I think I need to explain again my <laughs> fascination with plants and ferns. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, traveling tip for you. Get the missus to do all the research. Yeah. So then when you get there, you're never, never let down. You're always pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes me sound like an idiot. Anyway, Cow Bay, that's where we're heading now. Beach attire. <laughs> a lovely little camera here. <laughs> what is it about this place that everyone got no patience and everything's in your face, killing your imagination, not paying attention? Welcome to Cow Bay. <laughs> Look at the cool beach! I love it! The boat swings over there, over here. I love all these trees. Not a bad spot. Not paying attention. You got me losing connection. I'm in a temporary home. Okay, Sophie has not stopped banging on about the fact there's, what, three ice cream places? Yeah. Quite literally, today I think she's mentioned it how many times? At least three times. <laughs> At least three times. You mentioned it twice just on that road back up from Cal Bay. that's just the times that I'm saying it out loud. I'm thinking it a lot. Yeah, we just went past Flora Villa and Daintree Ice Cream Company is up here. So I'm thinking we do one today and one tomorrow. I can see where this this sort of our videos are starting to go. It's becoming a bit of a eat lots of food and ice cream. I think in the last couple of days we've had we've stopped in for ice cream three times. So it's very uh, subtle when Sophie wants something. She just mentions it over and over and over and over and over again until uh, we eventually do it. So I guess we're going to get ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> if you took my hand, I'll bite you real hard Feel like I'm about to burst hollering inside Staring at the ceiling, picture never captured Kisses smelling like ice cream, hot taken With a message never ending ever stop With the enemy busking in the dark Shooting, preaching, sun is leaking Never gonna stop the light, break it up, ticking What's the verdict? Creamy, refreshing Good, good choice. We got the dairy free option, which is just nice and light. But yeah, I think they're all really delicious. I think the soursop one might be my favorite. And there was mango, passion fruit, soursop, and something else. All delicious. So the reason we had four different ice creams today was because we selected like the daily special, which changes pretty much every day with the fruit that grows here in the orchard, which is really cool. And it's not just fruit, they've got coffee here. Chocolate there, vanilla there, passion fruit, pineapple. It's amazing how little you know about these plants. Like, mm. I had no idea that's what a chocolate bush tree plant <laughs> looks like. Yeah? Yeah, considering chocolate is pretty much part of everyone's daily life, you understand when you don't know what an exotic fruit looks like, but Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Even, even coffee plants. Mm. I wouldn't have known that's a coffee plant. No chance. No. Although I would have thought I knew what a coffee plant looked like. Check this bad boy out. Do you reckon seeing we found it on the ground, we can just we just pick it up, take it with us? <laughs> I don't know if it works like that on I, private property. Do you reckon they'd probably notice us wandering around? Just to be clear, 
I didn't pick this. I found it on the ground just there. But do you reckon I'll just see us wandering into the car with one of these? <laughs> I don't even know if jackfruit's nice. I've never tried it. Have you? No, I haven't tried it either. Apparently it's nice, but that was also the market store holder that was trying to sell me it, so... I'll say anything, right? Yeah. We'll have to try it. Mm. Not this one, though, because I don't want to be stopped getting into our car by stealing their fruit. So we're going to leave this exactly where I found it. Mm. Seems like a waste, but okay. If I lived in the tropics, I would definitely have an orchard and grow all of these. Rambutan, lychee, mm. perfect. A daily selection of ice creams means there'll be different ice creams tomorrow. <laughs> We're here I'm not, for three I'm more coming, days. <laughs> I'm not coming to ice cream every day. I'm already eating more You've ice cream to. than I usually ever eat. I know, we've just seen all these incredible fruits in the orchard and now I'm like, oh my God, tomorrow that some of them might be in ice cream form. And on that note, Thanks for watching. Join us again next week as we continue our adventure through the Dane Tree, climbing up Mount Sorrow. Hmm, wonder how it got its name. I guess there's only one way to find out.